Bonjour, good evening, Sabina. How are you? Bonjour, bonsoir, good evening. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very happy. Good. How good. are you? I'm very good, thanks. It's a bit cold in Liverpool, chilly night. Whereabouts are you now? Are you in Luxembourg, the home, your hometown? That's right. Um, it's not really my home. Well, what would you call hometown? It's my base, yeah. Oh yeah. In yeah. Luxembourg, outside of Luxembourg, a little south of Luxembourg, the first commune south of the of Luxembourg city. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've, heard, I've read that uh, Luxembourg now it's got the highest capita, the highest standard of living in the world of all major countries. I'm not surprised. It must be ranking quite high. I, yeah. I'm not up to date with that, but it is it is definitely ranking high. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a beautiful place I've read. How, how many languages do you speak? Um, four. Wow, fluent yeah. in all four. Four fluent. Yeah, I have notions of many languages, including it, Italian and Japanese, but. Oh. But uh, I, I speak four fluent fluently. That is German, my mother tongue. English, because I've worked as a foreign language correspondent. We'll get to that later, maybe. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, uh, my first learned profession. Yeah. Um, well, French, obviously, because it's the, the probably widest spoken language here in Luxembourg, around the city anyways, yeah. or in uh, officially. Yeah. Next to Luxembourgish, which I also speak. Yeah. That is uh, Luxembourg's very own language. Is it? Is it Flemish? Is that? Is that different? No, it is. Um, uh, it is a Moselle Franconian. Uh, it sounds a little bit like a Moselle Franconian dialect. Yeah. But it has a lot of French vocabulary also. Yeah. Um, some German vocabulary, um, and it has a lot of French structure. Grammatical structure is rather French. Like, for example, we say, um, "Das may good." Yeah. It is, uh, you know, the the uh, comparison. I think you say. Yes. Yeah. The plus beau, or the plus uh, plus plus joli, or plus grand grand. Uh, can, exactly. So you don't. <laughs> the comparison is not the is from the Latin languages and and not from the Anglo-Saxon languages. Okay. Well, we have our own language in Liverpool called Scouse. C can you understand me? Okay. <laughs> I know French, I know from my school, French, um, there's a lot of lip movement with the French language, whereas the people from Liverpool, they tend to, it's a kind of nasal language. Okay. Not, not much lip movement, but sort of uh -huh. through the nose, and because it's a damp climate as well, quite nasal. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, French has a lot of n nasal, different ones. Yeah, yeah. It can be confusing, but I think um, I knew the language very well before I came to Luxembourg, yeah. because, but I couldn't really speak it, you know. The, okay. the day in language, the, the thing that you speak in the street, at the supermarket. Yeah. So um, it took me a while, but I got used to it very quickly. And obviously, um, if you are here, you have to practice in order to get hold of a hold of a language, a hand on a language, you need to speak it regularly. Okay. Uh, Sabina, c can we talk about your career? You've got a fantastic list of credits on the IMDb website. Can you take me back to your early career? Did you start off as a child on the stage, childhood in your teenage years? Yeah, I wouldn't call that a career. No? During the childhood and teenage years because I didn't do it professionally. Okay. How much are dramatics? It is, yeah, and that takes me back to what we said earlier. Um, my, I have always played on stage, especially around Christmas time, Christmas yeah. play. Yeah. Yeah. Later on, as a teenager, I got into modeling through the sports because I did sports, uh, um, artistic gymnastics also. And, um, and then I started playing on camera and I was booked here and there. And I always enjoyed playing, be it on camera or on stage. Oh, yeah. I did book readings and, and whatnot. But um, it would not have come to my mind or it was not my wish. I didn't even think of doing, wanting to do that professionally. Yeah. Just a, a, love, a love for it. Sorry? Just a love for, for the arts. Yeah, that's it. I had, um, and much later in life, I realized I had never finished playing. Yeah. That's when I picked it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and at that time, uh, fast forward, I was also at a place or at a moment in my um, 
Sabine form in my Sabine life yeah. uh, where I could or where I had the the possibility to decide well what not what now what do you want to do with your you have to work another 20 25 years what do you want to do yeah. <laughs> when my yeah. had grown up and needed us less and uh, yeah okay. so that the the so-called career yeah. started in my 40s oh, oh, that's unusual yeah yeah. But back going back again, uh, yeah. so as I said before, my first learned profession yeah. uh, was a. I was a foreign. I trained as a foreign language correspondent. Was that and teaching well, languages? Sorry. Is that, is that involved teaching languages? I, I don't know what that what that is. But tell me. Not at all. You um, you can work as a freelance or as an employee somewhere for um, normally for companies. For yeah. uh, radio stations, radio stations, um, uh, and you can um, work in in journalism or in uh, in the economy somewhere. Yeah. And you are you are um, working between languages. You you do translations. You interpret. You do interpretations. You uh, you um, um, write, conduct correspondence uh, yeah. between whoever in different who speak different languages yeah. that's about that as well as acting i've looked through your cv on your website it's excellent by the way i think um you've got a great cv of audio work have you worked on audio books doing yeah and radio dramas oh, unfortunately not no? <laughs> not oh. yet no um audio i i mostly i do uh dubbing i dub synchronizations oh yeah uh, for films or voiceovers Commercial voiceovers, um, yeah, uh, corporate films, voiceover, yeah, voiceovers and synchronizations, dubbing mainly yep. until now. But um, I love, as you know, I yep. love. Um, I would love to do audiobooks. Yeah, yeah. I've seen. I've with, uh, yeah, I've done it a little bit with Joseph uh, in two thousand and twenty. I've seen those. Yeah, I, I've interviewed Joe uh, Joseph a couple of times. He's a great writer. He's a, he's a great bloke to just to have a chat with. He's very knowledgeable yeah, as well. <laughs> You've done readings of his novel, The, the Augmented Man, which I've it's, it's had a five star review from me. How did you connect with Joseph? Through Twitter. Oh, yeah. yeah. Joseph and I uh, have a virtual friendship. <laughs> Just like you and I. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, confined at home, Twitter, um, 2020. Yeah. Um, and it was uh, quite miraculous the way we met because uh, apparently Joseph, maybe he has told you that, uh, he has asked, oh, wouldn't it be nice someone reading, interpreting uh, part of my books or, or doing a reading on my book? They had yeah. thought about the subject and uh, and then uh, Joseph thought I'd never agree to do something like this. And I was thinking, <laughs> my God, what am I doing with this time? <laughs> what, you know, the creative flames are burning yeah. and where do we go, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I and I just said, well, why? I'd love to do, do some of the re some readings for someone, you know, just to do something with yeah. no particular objective. Yeah. And I thought, well, why don't I simply ask Joseph? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and about uh, I don't know a few hours apart, hmm. we had both obviously we had the same idea. Yeah. And got together in a in a um, in a Twitter personal message, and and yeah. uh, from there it took off. The Augmented Man, Episode 1. In 25 December 2031, Northern Amazonas, undisclosed location, 4 months, 24 days post-augmentation. Good run, trailer? Donaldson asked, Good run, trailer. Trailer looked up from the ground, crooked his head slightly to the left as he interpreted Donaldson's words, coming back from readiness as the Ajax coursed through him. He smiled and rumbled. Happiness is a huge gut pile. Donaldson shook his head and experienced a chill as Trailer and St. Ange laughed. Donaldson smiled with them 
and checked his watch. Ten minutes. He'd lost ten minutes. He looked at Trailer and Trailer smiled back, his body still swaying slightly. A cobra hypnotizing his prey before striking. A bastardization of Ericsson's work in clinical and subjective hypnotic states and useful for compromised kills. Can you, can you, have you had various acting roles? Is, is, have you got a favourite? Would you prefer working in film or theatre or television? No, I have really, I wouldn't want to miss neither one nor the other. Yeah. I, I, I love being on stage. I love being on camera. It is all the same to me. Um, it's it's really, my thing is, a, is I love to play. Yeah. I love the human race, human race, human beings. Um, it's a, it's my tribute to to the human being. Yeah. Okay. Do, do you find that uh, in television or film work, it's, everything's very slow? You may be, you know, you may be taking your eight hours to, to record two minutes worth of film. There's a lot yeah, of it that's... just waiting around. Working on camera, film or TV, you need a lot of patience. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of waiting time and, you know, but it's a, there's a certain rhythm hmm. and you get used to it. Yeah. What would you do in between times? Are you practicing learning your lines, your dialogue? That's different every time. Every yeah. production is different. Every we yeah, are definitely preparing then because you're very well um, informed all the time, permanently. You know, now in another half hour, now you have one hour break, now you have ten minutes break. You know, yeah. Film, film crews are amazing. I can really uh, chapeau, yeah. <laughs> kudos to the film crews. It's amazing what uh, what a team of what what a what a film crew does on a, on set. This is. Yeah. And so, yeah, no, it depends, really. It, sometimes you have a chat with your colleague or you are you are working together on a scene again or you just relax. Yeah. I, I, do you find that auditions have changed since COVID? Oh, yeah. Oh, is, yeah. It all, is it all through Zoom now? Is it all through, you know, on online meetings? Well, a, a live Zoom like we have now yeah. is still a wonderful thing because yeah. you can one direction from the casting director and I mean a casting director is not for nothing that it's called casting director yeah. <laughs> because they are directing the actors yeah. uh, to make sure they're hitting we're all hitting or offering the tone that is necessary for the film you know because the casting director has the film director's vision in mind yeah yeah and, and that goes lost when you do selfie auditions yeah it, it is a poor replacement, even though it, it well, it was the only way to go with COVID mm. and afterwards. Yeah. And it really has taken root. It's more and more so that you do selfie auditions. Um, it saves a lot of money also, time. True, yeah, yeah. But oftentimes you're not in the place where the, or not in the vicinity where the casting location is. So, mm. um, but um, the uh, the really good alternative, I personally think, is a is a live Zoom, a live audition, well, yeah, a, a live whatever Skype or Zoom or yeah. Okay, how how important is, is the show reel for an actor, an actress, an actor? It is the most the most important thing. It's your business card. Paul! Oh, Margaret, you're early. How are you? Is Michel here yet? No, he just texted me he'll be here at 9.30. 9.30. Is everything ready? Yes, just putting the finishing touches on everything. Did he say why he's going to be late? No, I have no idea. Fine. I'll go freshen up a bit before it starts. I just saw the investor from Stockholm arrive with a young woman. 
I think it's a secretary. Madame Schmidt, s'il vous plaît. Bonjour. Prenez place sur le divan, s'il vous plaît. Ce n'est pas un Deckerlein. Non, ce n'est pas un Deckerlein. Bon, je reste debout alors. Vous êtes verheiratet, ou Oui, nous sommes déjà ewig zusammen. Et Also, läuft da noch was zwischen euch? Maxi. Weißt du, wenn du mit jemandem so lange zusammen warst, dann im Laufe der Zeit verändert sich die Beziehung. Du hast so viel zusammen erlebt, so viel zusammen durchgemacht. Und dann triffst du jemanden. Und das haut dich einfach total um. Du, ehe du dich versiehst, du kommst einfach nicht dran vorbei. Boom, da ist es. Ein einziger Augenblick, Maxi. Und alles ist anders. Du verstehst das, ne? John. Ja. John, you don't need to sleep on the sofa bed. There's plenty of room here. It's like two twin beds pushed together. If you're game. Well, I'm nothing if, if not game. No, no. This is not having a lot of confidence in our firm, is it? I absolutely believe in our firm. At least I did until you came. What did you say? Nothing. I just don't think we should take it. Hans, it's yours. <laughs> I would like to think so, but as things stand, the younger generation is running the show. Sorry. Fat, sorry. Sie nein sind sie sind aber heute morgen am Gang zu schaffen und du kannst ja auch getrollt. Sorry. Max, du gesehen hast, wie du Gandalf. Wie? Wie wollen Sie dir eigentlich nach Hause? Ja, wir waren ob das so ist, sicher kommen. Wei, hör dich gehen, hab es gesagt. Ist mir zu spät. Die Rolle auf gestrach. Was? Tät mir leid. Pardon. Is that with the CV? Does the CV sort of come second? It's that the, the important thing, the visual, the show reel. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because patient, is patient. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, we're we're talking, we're talking, um, we are interpreting, or, or we uh, ca casting directors, film directors, stage directors are looking for a human being alive who is interpreting a certain character. So they want to see how you move, how you talk, how you, what you look like, um, how you talk. They want to hear you, feel you. Um, yeah. I've always loved doing sports. That has been a, my company accompanying me from childhood on as well. So it comes very naturally to me. And then the thing is, you know, I have a lot of fire. <laughs> and and I need sometimes I just or most of the time, I can say most of the time, I use sports to just let steam off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So much energy. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I I just really have to let steam off. Where do I go? Ooh, the fire has to burn, <laughs> and so it's a it's a present really. And I I love doing sports, all sorts of sports. You know, swimming, running, whatever I can, wherever I am. You know, you don't always have a gym with you, or uh, but I do regularly. I do swimming. I love to go into town by bike. Uh, I run. I uh, I do weight training, which is my now very very important. <laughs> Yeah. To keep good, um, yeah, for health, very simply. Does that help it, you? Actually, it is nothing that I toil for or that uh, that I need to push myself to do. Luckily, it's uh, it's my keeping me sane. Let's say. Oh, yeah, yeah. Does that help you? You've done modeling work. You're still doing the modeling work. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I do modeling. So I've always done it since I was sixteen. Next to whatever else I did professionally, hmm. um, and yeah, it comes in handy. Hmm. Does I, it, is it lucrative? Does it pay as much it, as an acting role? It it depends on the job, but oh. because modeling, you're not. Uh, it it really depends what how big your role is, how many shooting days you have in a in a modeling job and in an acting job. Yeah. 
But you know, for the time you invest in modeling, it is uh, very lucrative normally. Yeah. Yeah. So our commercial commercial films, uh, that kind of thing. It's it's nice to have these come being dropped in your inbox. These requests. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you have an agent that does this work for you, or do you do this yourself? Do you contact mm -hmm. different places and send your CV? Mm -hmm. I have, uh, thank, luckily, I'm. Uh, I have an agent in the UK, play oh, actors. Yeah. yeah. In London, yeah. Um, then one in Germany, for Germany. Hmm. That is uh, Michael Stöfsand. Uh, it's called um, Agentur Schauspielquartier. And uh, just lately, since the summer, there is an agent, a brand new agency, artist agency here in Luxembourg called hmm. One Art. Yeah. Henri Pierre Play uh, is my agent there, who's representing me. Well, mainly in the Grand Region, which is Belgium, France, Luxembourg, but also in um, in other European countries, Austria, Switzerland. Yeah. Yeah. Is is there a particular acting role that you've always wanted to play, but not yet? The roles I want to play is well, what 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 my what what um what gives me satisfaction. And a peace of mind and joy is when I can help help put somebody's vision into the physical realm. Yeah. And if that if I if that clicks, if there's a a symbiotic understanding and how can I say, yeah, mutual trust and that that understanding between the artist and the creator. That's my ideal role, and it doesn't matter what it is or where it is, really not. Are you working on a particular role at the moment, or have you got something lined up in the near future? Um, yeah, I, I can't. Can I say it? I can't say it. I've been put up by play actors, my London oh. agents. I've been put up for, I've been put up for a role in the sixth season of The Crown. Wow, a small role, yeah. but oh. I. If I'm even being looked at or considered, no idea. Uh, there's another role that uh, I was put up for. I yeah. don't know if I'm invited for a casting, and that would be a, a wonderful uh, the, the the female lead in a in a full full length feature film. Wow, brilliant! Being shot uh, sometime somewhere in the mainland on the continent possibly in Austria, but um, by someone uh, by someone who's Irish, but uh, lives and works in London. Okay, I, that's it. I can't say anymore. No problem. But yeah, no problem. You're waiting for only, contracts. I don't know if uh, this is, you know, this is what your agents do. They put you up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you see if you're being invited for a casting or not. But um, very concretely, um, I have just orally come to an agreement with the Rosenberg uh, Festspiele, the Rosenberg Theatre Festival yeah. in 2023. Yeah. They want me, they want to book me again for all three plays. Well, uh, so that is certainly going to happen uh, mm. late April until mid-August 2023. So you're constantly busy. Yeah, and we're playing Richard III. Wow. And uh, but I don't know my roles yet. We'll see. Yeah. And um, our, oh, I, got, I don't know the English title of this. Arsen und Spitzenhäubchen. This is in Germany, so it's yeah, being yeah. It happens in German. Okay. And uh, and Pippi Longstocking. What? <laughs> that used to be the girl from the television show and the what back in the seventies. Swedish girl. Yeah. Exactly, Astrid Lindgren, the <laughs> author. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That was a strange television show, that. Did you watch that in Germany? Oh, look. The television series, no. I saw the film. Oh, yeah. yeah. The television series, no. I think it was I think it was an American-made series, I think, about this young Swedish girl about strange adventures. She had a bit of magic about her as well, I think, if I remember. She's the strongest girl in the world. Pippi. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I will probably, very probably, not play Pippi yeah. because I'm too old. Oh, but yeah. um, uh, well, no, it, it's up to the director, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, we're looking for someone. They are looking for someone uh, to take over the role of Pippi. Um, but I love the play, and I, I love the um, 
uh, the the vibe, you know, the 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 un the un the unbridled um, vibe that this girl has. It's yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah. She, is. she has no <laughs> rules, you know. She's, and she's not. She's very powerful. Yeah. Not abusing this power. Okay. Well, I remember she lived alone. I think she had no parents looking after her. Um, she yeah. got all, all different she adventures. Yeah, she believes that her, she's convinced her father is still alive, but we don't really know that. But yeah. for sure, her mom died when she was young. Oh, and yeah. she lived in, the, uh, in a villa, Villa Kunterbund, Villa, uh, in a, hmm, I don't know the, the wording in English. Oh, yeah. uh, in, in, a, in a crazy big, um, uh, colorful house with her, yeah. um, Herr Nielsen. Mr. Nielsen and her horse. Yeah. Sabina, we've connected on Twitter. Are you using any other social media to promote your show reel or to connect with different writers and people? Yeah, all of them. Uh, all of them, yeah. All of them, but, but probably not all of them, but um, the mainstream ones, uh, yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Uh, I am on LinkedIn. You can also find me on LinkedIn. Mm. Uh, what else? Facebook, obviously. Yeah. And I have an account on TikTok. Hmm. I think that's about it. And Twitter, yeah. Have you tried this new one? I think it's called Mastodon. As people are talking about that, maybe Twitter may be taken down with what Elon Musk is doing, whatever he's I, doing. I but a lot of people are saying they're going to leave Twitter. Or... No. It hasn't happened so far. True, yeah, yeah. Is that is that your main one, though, your account? Is, is it Twitter? Is that the main social media for yourself? No. <laughs> No, I think so. It, they're all equally important. Mm. Yeah, and normally I share whatever happens on all of them. Yeah. yeah. Would you have any advice for for a newcomer, a would be actor or actress? What advice would you give them? Don't bother. Maybe <laughs> it's such a hard industry to to become yeah. successful. There's two things I would say. Uh, f- the first, I would ask a question. I would ask, why do you want to? Why do you want to act? Why do you want to play? Why do you want to be an actor? Think deeply about that. Yeah. Number one. And number two, I would say, have a backup plan. Hmm. As I know, it's like it's like professional sports people. 99% of the people who have the intention or the ambition don't actually quite make it. They have to have another alternative. It's hard. I think I really have to, uh, and I can say that I'm very open about, I love being open about this. I've always mm. worked in sport also. Yeah. And I still do that. Next mm. to, it's a really a side hustle that I largely benefit from. Yeah. Is that personal mm. benefit or is that from an income as well? Is that lucrative for you, sports? Yeah. Absolutely, from an income also, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Didn't know that. Um, yeah, I have. Uh, I'm. In, I, I'm a sports instructor as well, so I oh. do that. Um, for the city of Luxembourg, has a wonderful sports program with many different sorts of kinds of sports. Yeah, yeah. I have two, two classes that I give there, two courses, uh, mm. and I am away. I have um, a wonderful, a handful of people who are backing me up wonderfully. So, uh, and that uh, serves me very, very well. And also, that's another thing that really keeps me sane because it's so totally different from the from the artistic world. Mm. I like it because it's so totally different. It keeps me down to earth. Yeah. Nice. And keeps you fit as well, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, to be in it, it's been an absolute delight chatting with you. Uh, that time's up. Uh, but can we keep Thank in touch as we have been on Twitter? Of course. Thank you for having me. No, thank you very much. It's been a delight chatting with you.